This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 24. It has explosive run plays. Run. Glitch routes all over the field. And explosive one play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. So if you guys want to see what new offense I'm using in results like this, see ya. stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Since the Eagles season is all but over and no longer exciting to me, I wanted to use some new teams in Madden. And since I had a lot of comments over the year that my plays only worked because I was using the best team, I decided to switch to the worst team in the NFL in the Carolina Panthers. As I continue to try to prove that there is no such thing as a bad team in Madden, just bad quarterbacks, as speed is really the only rating that matters. Truth is though, I actually wanted to use the Panthers as I think this is actually a pretty good team, at least on defense, but the offense is horrible, especially at quarterback, but at least Bryce Young is fast. After that, the strength of this offense, if you can call it that, is the fact they have two pretty good running backs in Miles Sanders and Chuba Hubbard, which is perfect for the offense that I plan to show you guys today. And they also at least have one fast receiver and 84 speed DJ Chark, but that's it. As the Panthers only have one superstar or X-Factor player on the entire team on defense in Brian Burns. And their 71 overall rated offense is one of the lowest rated units in Madden. Now, not only am I switching teams, but I'm also switching offenses. And I wanted to showcase some plays from my latest ebook in the Miami Dolphins, which is very similar to the San Francisco 49ers since their coach is from there, but with one key difference. In today's gameplay, I'll be facing off against a much better team in the San Diego Chargers with superstar players like Justin Herbert, Keenan Allen, and Austin Eckler to name a few. The offense I'm going to be using today is the Gun Split Close. I already broke this offense down in practice mode a little while back, and I also used it in some gameplays but i never made a full gameplay showing how explosive this offense is so if you guys want to see more about this offense i will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that that video was recorded from the niners playbook as they are almost identical with the exception of one key play i keep the same play in my audibles in the halfback power o which is my best outside run to the right but this playbook also has the fullback inside which the niners no longer has giving me a very good run play inside and to the left. For my other two audibles, I'm going to use the Dolphins halfback rail first man coverages and the Dolphins pivot dig for zone coverages. And for my fifth and active play, I always choose the halfback wheel. As this play is a one-play touchdown versus every defense in the game, and the running backs will get open against just about any defense man or zone without any adjustments. Meaning I can quick hike my opponent before they set up their defense, but you can also put the B receiver on a streak, and this corner route will get open against most things as well. So you'll see me making that adjustment on just about every every play. On the first play, I try the halfback power O. If this defensive end is outside the tackle like this, it's best to motion out the fullback so they can pick him up. But if he's not wider than the tackle, you can just hike the ball. But this play works best when you have an actual fullback blocking or a blocking tight end, as most running backs just don't block very well. So I take the running back underneath on the next play to stay on schedule before I read cover zero and try to take a shot. My easiest play against cover zero and cover one man is the Dolphins halfback rail as I usually don't have to make any adjustments and this running back is capable of a one play touchdown. But you also have to pass lead away more than I did here. Oops. Into a fourth and four in the very first possession and I take too long to make a decision and turn the ball over on downs. Not the best start. On defense, since I'm in the Raiders playbook once again, I'll be using my quarter normal defense, which is another defense that I made a full breakdown video about, but I'll mostly be focusing on offense in today's video, so if you guys want to see more about that defense, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The drive doesn't start out too bad as we get a stop on the ground before letting him get all the way to the two yard line on the very next play, but he didn't get in. He tries to bulk up on the next play and pound up, but we get the stop on the one before run committing on the next play and almost getting the sack to force a big Big third down. He tries the quick slam, but we're all over that. And we get him to a fourth and goal that he finally converts just barely in a crowd. Damn it! But we almost made the stop. Now down a quick seven nothing, I decide to make a personnel change and put in a tight end at fullback for better blocking. But on the first play, I decide to run the fullback instead. And you can see why I like this play as I easily get six yards with a slow fullback who's only 84 speed. On the next two plays though, I try to fit balls in tight windows and these receivers are just not it. Nope. As they both get knocked away or knocked loose. <laughs> putting me right back into a fourth and four from the same place on the field before I decide to go for it again. And to make things worse, I decided to try to bomb it up against a lit up Derwin James. What, are you fucking retarded or something? That ain't fucking right. 
And now I have to play some defense, or this game is going to be over before it even started. He comes out of three tight end sets, so I switch to my 3 4 odd defense to match. And it works on first down for a loss before he tries the pass, and we almost get an interception, holding him to a quick field goal. Now down two possessions, though, I have to start taking some chances and pushing the ball downfield. The Panthers only have one fast receiver in DJ Chark, so I make sure to have him at this X receiver spot, as this is the spot where most of the one-play touchdowns come from in the halfback wheel. I recover zero in the very next play, so I put my fullback into a check and release for better blocking as the post route cooks the press break yourself fool and i thought i had a highlight reel touchdown until surprise motherfucker where the hell did this guy come from the bench no big deal though as i call a hurry up to keep him in it and watch him switch defenses to what looks like a cover three zone so since I'm already on a hash mark to the short side of the field, I decide to use the hash marks glitch, which only works against cover three. All you have to do is be on a hash mark to the short side of the field and put the B receiver on a streak to pull back the cornerback, and now the A receiver gets wide open. Now only down a field goal, I give my opponent the length of the field for the first time this game, but he goes right down the field in just three plays anyway to get in the scoring range before I start dialing up the blitz to shut him down on the very next play. <laughs> Your ass down. And then doing it again and pushing him backwards into a desperate third 19 that he decides to put the ball in danger against my cover four. And we got a lot of space here. As we take the lead for the first time this game. That lead doesn't last too long though as he has the perfect glitch play for my cover four match. As the tie just gets wide open for the score. And I'll have to watch out for that play again in the future. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. With a little over two minutes left in the half, I want to kill the rest of the clock in this quarter, as well as give my opponent a new look. So I switch over to my iForm close game that I put out a few months ago, before I hit a wide open deep crosser from the PA deep cross go to get in a field goal range. And then I switch back to the gun split close. I recover to in the next play, so I put the B round of streak once again to pull back the safety, but Bryce Young's accuracy is just not it, as he leaves a lot of passes out there on the field. You suck! And I have to settle for a field goal in a tie with 33 seconds left. This team's offense might be terrible, but I picked this team because I like its defense and its secondary, and it has a lot of speed. So I pick my cover two man, which is kind of like my prevent defense in this game, and I get good plays on the ball in the next two plays. Bitch. including a huge interception that puts me right back into the red zone with only 22 seconds left, only with no timeouts. So I have to be cautious not to take a sack. I don't trust you either, I'm sorry. As I throw the ball away on first down. When I get back to the huddle, I see that he was, in fact, in cover one man. So on the next play, when I see him shift in and out with the single high safety look, I know he's just trying to hide the coverage. So I switch back to the Dolphins halfback rail once again, as this wheel route to the running back destroys this and man zero with no adjustments. And we take the lead before halftime. Not bad considering we were just down 10 0. I start the second half on defense and I try to get an onside kick for some reason. I can't remember why. The fuck are you doing? Because I hardly ever play this aggressively, which is probably why the score is so close. But at least my defense is bailing me out as he only gets a yard on the next three plays to get him to a fourth and nine from no man's land at the 43, and he has to go for it. And I take the ball right back like it never even happened. Now I just want to kill some clock and take a two possession lead to win this game. So I call the halfback power O. And just like I said earlier, that defensive end is out wide. So I have to motion out the fullback to pick him up. Only this time I have an actual tight end blocking as he does a much better job of letting me get to the edge. As he gets downfield and even picks up the safety. Springing me for my biggest carry of the game. One of my favorite things about this running scheme is that it gives you options to both sides of the field. Which is rare in shotgun formations as you usually only have an inside zone in one direction. But in this formation, you can go left, right, or center. As I switch to the fullback inside on the next play, only this time I motion across the B receiver, and look how that motion creates a huge running lane as it pulls the linebacker out of his gap assignment, and I almost get 10 yards with my tight end before I try to do it again on the next play, and he shuts me down with a blitz. So if he wants to run cover zero blitz to stop the run, that's fine, and I decide to switch back to the Dolphins halfback rail one more time, Wait for the running back to turn up field, and we almost score another long touchdown to get inside the five. From here, though, we ain't passing, as we hand it to our power back slash tight end, who is carrying dudes on back-to-back -back plays to power his way into the end zone. And we secure a rage quit with the worst team in the league, scoring 31 points in just two and a half quarters. So that's the video. If you guys want to learn more about the offense and defense I was using in today's game, I will have a full breakdown of them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.